So you got your G7X and you want to clean the lens. It got dirty, there's some dust on it, got some dust on the inside as well. And it's very difficult to fix. There's no official fix. Uh, it can be expensive, several hundred dollars, depending if you got it used or if it's just older and you've been abusing it for a while. Uh, that might not be cost effective for you. You want also, if you're traveling, it's not always a place you can just leave it and pick it up right away. You, you'll probably leave this behind if you leave it to get repaired. These will take quite a while to get ready and you'll be already in another country or another city. So you need a fix that you can do yourself uh, without any cost. And assuming you have the right tools, which you may not have, this is why I suggest you do it before you travel is, uh, and before this actually becomes an issue. If you have a G7X, might as well just do it because you're gonna be abusing that thing, you're gonna be getting that lens dirty on the inside. No matter how well you try and take care of it, there's something's gonna come up eventually. And this fix will uh, make kind of future proof for dust on the inside of the lens. Also, if you already have the issue, this will work just fine. The first thing you'll need is a few tools. Drill bits, of course, one eighth, and five thirty seconds. Now, you don't actually need these exact sizes. Basically, you need a small one to start it and a larger one to actually get it large enough to fit Q-tips in. However, I would suggest these sizes. Now, you also, of course, need Q-tips to clean the lens after you've made the hole. And, of course, a power drill. I use this for a lot of projects, so I have it handy. Not everyone will. In that case, if you don't want to go buy a power drill just for this or rent one, you can actually just buy these bits and do it by hand and whittle them in. And that would cost a few dollars. Uh, the bits aren't typically that much themselves and you don't need the highest quality ones because this is an easy job. So the first step is to zoom out your screen all the way so that that lens is up as far as it, as it goes. And then you are gonna want to remove your battery. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. It'll be a little easier for you, of course. Okay, now it'll stay in place when you're working on it. First thing you wanna do is lift straight up on this lens cap here. Uh, I already got a little bit started. You'll see a little lifted here because I'm doing this one-handed. Uh, However, for you, it should just pull straight up. You gotta be careful because underneath here, there are some, uh, the three parts here and three parts here for the shutter, and they're difficult to put back in the right order, so just don't. Uh, just lift straight up carefully on this metal casing. Underneath, you'll see the shutter parts I was talking about. In case you're unlucky and you do take them apart, uh, it might be somewhat useful to see how they are stacked. So let's just take a quick look at that. Basically, it's uh, smaller to larger on both the shutters. You'll be able to tell by these little metal bits here. Uh, each one is slightly larger or smaller than the other. So largest on the bottom, smallest on the top. Now that you've got the metal cap off, the next step is to drill a hole in the side. Now you're gonna want to try to find a place right in the middle of the lens because you don't want to hit the glass itself. That should seem pretty obvious, but some people do forget that. Now I'm gonna just get this started. Now I'm doing this slowly uh, so as to also remove as much plastic as possible. You got to make sure you carefully pull it out uh, You just don't want too much gathering in the lens itself Of course, you can get that out with a vacuum Which I do suggest doing at the end now that the hole has been started with the smallest bit We will now go to the next bit And make it a little larger so it's easier to fit the q-tip in here and actually clean the glass and get it out without a lot of the dust from the q-tip. A lot of the little uh, strings getting left inside. When you're doing this, it's wise to actually hold down on the shutter bits with one hand. I would suggest doing it, of course, if you're right-handed, doing it with just your left hand, 
holding them carefully so that they don't go out of place while you're drilling into the side. However, I'm doing this one-handed and without a tripod. Not a lot of forethought in this, I was just kind of doing it, figured I'd make a video to help some other people. So you want to just go ahead and drill it in. Make sure, I mean it won't go that easily for you, It'll take a little bit of time. This hole's already been made on my camera. Then the next step is to vacuum. So just to reduce the amount of string getting around and just clean up the inside of the lens. Now this will take some time and depending on how dirty it is, I was just using a rolling motion because you tend to leave a little bit of the string inside otherwise. Be careful when you're taking it out, so just to get as little string as possible left inside. Afterwards, of course, you'll probably want to vacuum this again, just to make it nice and clean. And then you're done. Da -da. So, of course, you want to make sure that the lettering is in the correct side when you're putting this back together. When you're closing it, you should hear a small click. There you go. And now, Reinsert your battery, close it up, and turn it on, hope nothing's broke. And there we go, the G7X is back working, just as when I got it. Beautiful, with very little dust, anything that is, is external. It's back to the way it was.